Hello class, welcome to this module in the course, this is writing. So in this module or explainer video, I will going to discuss about the chapter 2 and it is only an overview but it's still very important. So in the chapter 2, we have presentation, analysis and interpretation of data. So this chapter presents the elements and concept of presenting, analyzing, and interpreting data to answer the specific problem posited chap in chapter 1 of the study, specifically in the SOP. So now, before we will proceed to chapter 2, I will have a summary of your journey in your thesis writing. In the last semester, you have a proposal hearing and then the panel members give their suggestions comments about your paper and then you will have a responsibility to revise your paper so in this semester we have the course name thesis writing so this is for thesis two and the first step that you are um, doing is you revise the SOP and the questionnaire based on the comments of the panel members. So your advisor and your statistician check your SOP and questionnaire and then they give an approval of your revision and then after that you will distribute the questionnaire and I do believe at this moment you are already uh, distribute your questionnaire but before you distribute the questionnaire you have made a transmitter letter and then you have signed with our Dean and our campus director together with your advisor and also to the research environment specifically the establishment it's either the manager general manager or any have a position or authority that you ask permission to conduct your research paper and after collecting all the data that you have distributed to your respective respondents all your data must be processed by your statistician and you will consult with your statistician and after that they will give you the result of your data collected on your distribution of your questionnaire so the question is after you have received the result of the uh, computation of the statistician what you are going to do and this is why we, I made this explainer video that you will create a chapter 2. Again, for your um, thesis, you have three chapters. Chapter 1, that is in the previous semester. And then for this semester, chapter 2 and chapter 3. But for this um, explainer video, I'm going to discuss only in the chapter 2. After the uh, inside the chapter 2, you have to analyze and interpret the data, and after that, you will work out the chapter 3. What is inside the chapter 3 that is very important the conclusion and recommendations. So, I just highlighted the very important part of the chapter 3. And not just the conclusion and recommendations, but also the proposed action plan. And after that, checking of your paper through your advisor. So as you can observe, there's still a lot of process that you're going through to finish this thesis 2 or thesis writing. And after that, you still have to undergo a checking of your paper 
to an English critic and after the English critic check give comments recommendations of your paper still you will undergo some um, revisions so revisions you need to revise your papers and then after having uh, many revisions and then you have already an approval with your advisor that everything is clear okay and your paper is ready for um, oral defense you need to print the manuscript and give the manuscript to the panel members and also don't forget to upload the soft copy of your paper in our Google Classroom and after giving the manuscript to the panel members it must be one week advance before the said schedule of the oral defense so we'll just give you some updates on the schedule of our oral defense and I'll just give you a reminders I already posted it last November 8 that the deadline of um, uploading a final paper of your manuscript that is ready for oral defense the due date is December 20 it means that when you upload your final paper you already undergo the process that I have mentioned earlier so let us all finish strong please do all your best and then don't forget to if you are a member don't forget to cooperate and do the assignments that is given to you by your leader so that your paper will be ready for an oral defense so now I'll proceed to the content of the chapter 2 there are two main areas in the chapter 2 the presentation of the data and the analysis and the interpretation again presentation of the data that is number one and then the number two is the analysis and interpretation so I'll discuss first the presentation of data this part presents the data gathered and the information obtained begin your results section with a general statement don't worry after this discussion in a PowerPoint presentation I'm going to discuss through the sample um, thesis or the manuscript I'll just give you the overview what is in the content of the chapter 2 so there is a general statement in the first part of the chapter 2 that means something to the reader then as necessary support this statement with appropriate figures you must have a support again to the appropriate figures the narrative portion of the section should stand on its own tables charts and other illustrations and should only verify or elaborate points made in the text so you need to show the results in words augmented with a few numbers as possible and refer the interested reader to the more detailed presentation on the tables so if you choose to present your result by writing for example quote unquote the results are summarized in table what you are going to do is you should guide your reader through the table so you need to highlight the trend range and values and other interesting aspect so in the table it presents different figures numbers etc you don't need to explain everything but you need to highlight only the trend range of values and other interesting aspect so i will suggest you will just highlight the least figure and the highest figure so don't worry i will elaborate 
this after um, this explainer video so do not leave the reader to sort out the figures and decide what they mean so i will just highlight what is the content or what is inside of the first part which is the presentation of data again in the first part start with a brief introductory paragraph giving the purpose of the data in the table so i will suggest while you are listening to this explainer video you need to have the sample um, thesis that i have given you in the google classroom so while you are listening and watching to this video please bring the sample thesis in your hand so that every time that i have uh, mentioned some important things here you can easily um, understand by looking to the sample thesis again the first part in the presentation of data you need to start with a brief introductory paragraph it must be generic giving the purpose of the data in the table all right number two follow it with a statement presenting the table itself after the introductory paragraph follow it with a statement presenting the table table itself and then lastly analyze and interpret the findings therein so as you can observe in the sample thesis first there's a introductory paragraph summarizing all the tables what is inside the tables what are the informations within the tables and the second part it follows with a statement presenting each table so as you can observe at the top of the table there is a specific information or paragraph in every table in the first part it generalizes all the tables information of the tables and then the third part under the tables you can see a narrative statement there it talks about the analysis and the interpretation of the findings or the data that is presented in the table so again in the first part there's an introductory paragraph it is a generic uh, discussion it provides information in the entire tables that you presented in chapter 2 and it follows in the second part the statement presenting the table itself so under the generic paragraph example uh, especially in the first table there is another statement that is presenting the specific table so at the top of the table there's still a statement discussing or providing information in the specific table and then under the table there is a statement that provides analysis and interpretations of the findings so this three is important part in the pre presentation of data so now, now let's proceed to analysis and interpretation so this discussion part should present the principles relationships and generalization that is shown by the results so the results need to compare and interpret in previous published work so as we have mentioned here in the third part there is an analysis and interpretation of the findings under the table you need also to compare it and interpret in the previous published publish work this is also the importance of having a literature background that you have gathered information that is related to your study so the actual result of your data you need to compare also have a relationship or you need to have a connection with your actual results 
and the previous interpretation and results in the previous published work so that your result or analysis or interpretation of your data will be supported by the previous published work by providing a previous published work that will support your result it will make your paper a very nice and comprehensive and also important things that you need to know the implications of your result as well as practical applications must be discussed we're not just analyzing and interpreting the data but you need also to provide implications of your result what is this it is a practical application you provide the results you provided the analysis the interpretation of your data but you need also to provide practical applications what are the things that needs to do to for example if there's a problem you have uh, suggestions what is the appropriate action plan to do so the presentation of data in the tabular and textual forms must follow the arrangement of the specific problems posited in chapter one this is also the important things that you need to remember you have the copy of your chapter one where the SOP statement of the problem is located and then you need to arrange it according to the SOP so the results and discussion are very often combined in researches as I have discussed earlier that you have results you have discussed the results or your data and then you need to combine it with the other or previous researches also another important things that you need to remember the presentation of results and discussion should follow the sequence of the statement of the problem uh, same with this uh, first statement it's just a elaborated that the presentation of your results and discussion should follow the sequence of the statement of the problem same with the presentation of the data or the tables the sequence of your tables must be followed to the statement of the problem that is very important so make sure that you have described the conditions which obtain for each set of results what was held constant what were the other relevant parameters make sure too that you have used uh, appropriate statistical analysis and also use appropriate statistical tests so this is the importance why you need to contact the statistician before you will distribute the questionnaire to avoid uh, possible errors we need to contact or ask suggestions from the expert so if you will distribute your questionnaire without the approval of your statistician there will be possibility that the result of your paper is not good so to avoid that error you need to contact the statistician and wait for her approval before you will distribute the questionnaire and then you will provide or give the data to the statistician and she will um, process your data and it will provide it to you do not interpret or do not compute the data in your own please give your data to the statistician the expert so again use the appropriate statistical test in most cases your results need discussion you need to discuss the result of your uh, data so you need to answer some questions like what do they mean 
How do they fit into the existing body of knowledge? Are they consistent with current theories? Or do they give new insights? Or do they suggest new theories or mechanisms? Something like that. You need to answer those um, questions. And also balance subjective and objective discussion. So again, I will repeat. In your table, you have the results of your um, data. You have analyzed and interpret, and you provide implications. You provide practical applications. And then for the discussion part, as you have discussed the result of your data, you need to balance subjective and objective discussion to avoid bias. It is very important um, things that you need to be reminded. What do we, uh, what I mean to balance subjective and objective discussion is this: if you will interpret analyze the data subjectively it means that it is only based on your experience it is only based on your um, concept or perception it is based on your feelings there will be a tendency that the discussion of your um, paper is not good so you need to balance you need to use a subjective discussion but you need also a use an objective discussion you need to ask the previous study. You need to read a lot of related studies before you will have an analysis and interpretation of the data. So, does it have any applications that do not relate to the questions that you set out to answer? So, what you need to do is you need to know your data well enough so that the results are presented in what the permits meaningful interpretations you need to understand how mood of presentations will affect interpretations this is very very important try to discuss yourself from your usual perspective and look at your work do not just ask yourself what it means in terms of the accepted belief of your own research group, but also how other people in the field might see it. Again, you need to balance subjective and objective discussion. Again, try to distance yourself from your usual perspective and look at your work. Do not focus on your own perspective, on your own feelings, and your own experiences. Do not just ask yourself what it means in terms of the accepted belief of your own research group. But also, this means uh, this is the meaning of balancing the subjective and objective. But also how other people in the field might see it. So the best thing to do to interpret analyze um, provide implications practical applications discussions is to balance the subjective and objective discussions do not provide any statement that only a subjective discussion but also consider the other research experts other related studies to provide a very nice discussion in your ana uh, presentation analysis and interpretation of data so thank you for listening i know that uh, it is hard to fully understand without the giving the sample thesis writing but don't worry after this module i will provide the presentation of the sample thesis so again don't forget to answer the evaluation quiz or the post test and after i release your score you can able to see the right answer and the wrong answer if you have the wrong answer please 
watch the video again so that you will fully understand the chapter 2 that will also uh, very beneficial to you in your thesis writing thank you